Hello. Welcome back to day four of our Freedom Retreat. Thanks for joining. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the world that we live in and our scope in that world because over the last few decades we've got used to the idea that we can pretty much roam the world as we please if we have the resources, the time and the money to do that. And despite carbon concerns, most of us have continued to exercise that freedom until recently when everything has been changing very fast. And now maybe your world feels pretty small to you. Maybe it's just the home that you live in with the occasional exercise outing or, or foray for food. So I want us to think about how even in that small world we can start to notice a lot of things that we might just take for granted or not even see on a day-to-day -day basis usually. And I want you to go I invite you to go about the day noticing the beauty in your small world. And this can be all sorts of things. It might be a cobweb, it might be a raindrop on a leaf, it might be your now beautifully ordered sock drawer because you found yourself with nothing else to do. Whatever it is, see this as you go about your day. You might want to take a quick picture of it with your phone and your camera. You might, or just with your mind's eye and, and capture it and imagine if, if that little scene, that little object that you've noticed, the way the sunlight is catching that glass on the shelf, if that was a photograph or even better, a painting in an art gallery, what would you, would you get from it? How would it make you feel? And each time we see the beauty and appreciate beauty, we're increasing our capacity to do that. You know, it's like exercising a muscle. And this can be a great source of comfort and, and even joy in our day-to-day -day lives. So for a few minutes now, let's just go inside and consider our own possibilities, our own internal beauty. This is not our time to think about how we don't like our nose, or we wish we were half a stone or a few kilos lighter. This is about acceptance and appreciation of ourselves exactly as we are. So I invite you to settle in your seat. If you have your legs down, then put them firmly on the floor, not crossed. Or if you're sitting on the floor, just make sure your back's nice and straight. Chin horizontal, parallel to the floor. And if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. Let's take a couple of deep breaths. In through the nose. And out through the nose. And in. And out. And keep breathing at your own natural rhythm. Check that your shoulders are relaxed. Your jaw is relaxed. The little muscles around your eyes are relaxed. Feel like you're smoothing out the skin on your face. Smoothing out the skin at the back of your neck. And all the rest of your body is comfortable and relaxed. You can hear the sounds of barley behind me. hear the birds singing. The crickets. So 
sometimes a motor scooter going by, or a dog barking. You can hear the natural world. And you know that it's a beautiful place. That even if you're not in it, you can imagine it. You have it inside your own head. Inside your own imagination. Maybe now with your eyes closed, you can transport yourself so that you're sitting here too. You can feel the warmth of the air, the humidity. You can feel the occasional breeze on your skin and smell the richness of the tropics. Maybe you can sense the calmness of the people here. Their attitude of acceptance and gratitude. Fill your own body with all that beauty that surrounds us now. The beauty of the place the beauty of the people. The beauty of nature. The beauty of a friendly smile. Or a round of applause with appreciation. or an amazing piece of music that stirs you. The beauty of your favorite poem or piece of prose. The beauty of your children or loved ones. The beauty of life in all its forms, with its ups and downs, its ebb and flow, like the tide coming in and the tide coming out. The sun coming up and the sun setting. the beauty of the rhythm of life. And the beauty of your own breath as it fills your body, carrying oxygen everywhere it's needed. And leaves your body taking with it the waste products you don't require. Inhaling and exhaling. All day, all night. From our first breath as a baby to our last breath. And remember, as you go about your day, that you have all this beauty inside you. And you're going to be noticing the beauty outside you. Beauty within and beauty without. And may it fill your heart and lift your spirits. 
Thank you. Namaste.